Hi, my name is Steve Joso. I'm the Torque Converter Product Line Manager here at Sonax in Bellows Falls, Vermont. And we're here in the R&D Center today to talk about the 6L80, 6L90 platform and what you can do to build a heavy duty converter for that transmission. But before we get started uh, in talking about the converters, I think it's worth noting uh, that a lot of folks know Sonax as a transmission component supplier and uh, a company that gets into the root cause of transmission failures and what it takes to solve those problems. But a lot of people don't know uh, that Sonax is also the global leader in torque converter components for the aftermarket. So if you've dealt with a torque converter rebuilder or, or drive a vehicle that might have had the torque converter rebuilt, you got a real good chance of having Sonax parts in that torque converter. So why do we want to upgrade the 6L80 and the 6L90 torque converter? Well, the 6L is extremely popular. It's in a lot of vehicles out there on the road. And today we're going to be focusing on the 300 millimeter variant of the converter. And it's found, and that, that 300 millimeter refers to the overall size. Um, and, and this 300 millimeter converter is found in a wide variety of vehicles, gas trucks and SUVs, diesel fleet vehicles, Corvettes, uh, full-size Cadillacs, uh, cars and SUVs, Camaros, and it's becoming a very, very popular uh, choice for street rod and hot rod builders who will drop uh, an LS motor and this six-speed transmission into a variety of other uh, platforms. So really, why do we need to upgrade this? It's really because the torque converter itself is a weak point of the OE uh, design. And, and what happens is, uh, we'll show you by opening up this converter, we cut it open and I've drained the oil out. And this is actually a brand new clutch plate that I placed in here to show you kind of a before and after. Um, but this clutch plate has a spring damper. It has one friction ring here. And this is your lockup friction surface. And what happens in the OE converter is this stamped steel cover twists and warps and you get, uh, you get this. You get all this scarring against the front cover because here's a clutch plate that's failed with a damper already removed. That, that gets in there and it just wears away that clutch material and pretty soon you're metal to metal and you're, um, you're sending debris through the transmission uh, and, and causing transmission failure. So what we'll, what we'll do today is to talk about how we can mitigate uh, this warping and twisting, provide really good rigid surfaces, provide increased clutch capacity by adding more square inches of friction material and building a good heavy duty unit. Okay, so the way I like to describe uh, the available upgrades for this uh, 6L 300 millimeter unit uh, is in terms of good, better, and best. And Sonax has the components that you'll, will get you to those three levels. Uh, to make a good converter, the minimum you need to do is to replace the stamped steel front cover with this forged billet cover. And I'll bring in the stamped steel cover that we had before. You can see that the pads are welded on here and it's just a thin stamped steel that flexes and twists and you get this scarring and, and failure here that sends uh, material through the unit and causes transmission failure. The Sonax forged billet cover um, is much thicker, much more rigid, and won't twist, won't flex, won't warp. And, and many of you may have seen uh, converters with this forged billet cover before. You can see it from the, obviously from the outside of the converter. To get you up to the better level, you can also replace the stamp steel piston, and I'll bring in this one off from the side where we had before, where this clutch material failed on here, and you can now replace it with a forged uh, version that is much thicker, much heavier, won't twist, won't flex, won't warp, and now you get two rigid surfaces between uh, uh, the piston and the cover where you're gonna get absolute maximum clutch 
performance uh, out of that. Um, and now to get you into the best category, Sonax offers performance converter kits that get you a forged front cover, a forged piston, but you get the added benefit of having a multi-plate converter. Now these multi-plates, these two plates, um, one has friction material on one side, the other is, is reaction surface. This clutch plate has clutch lining on both sides and it's the OE woven carbon material. It's important to know. All right, so this multi-plate kit gets you, uh, like I say, the ultimate in uh, converter dur durability and performance uh, uh, for this 300 millimeter uh, platform. Uh, but it's worth noting uh, that if you're gonna keep that 300 millimeter uh, diameter size, uh, I'm considering these to be uh, heavy duty builds as opposed to a, a true performance upgrade. And I'm gonna take some parts uh, from the side here and show you uh, that Sonax also offers a variety of kits and parts uh, for people that want to make a smaller diameter converter uh, and, and not use the 300 millimeter platform. Uh, Sonax offers kits and parts so that you could take a 245 millimeter core, a 258 millimeter core, or a 265 millimeter core and make a variety of, of what I'll call performance kits where you're gonna alter the stall speed, where you're gonna change torque multiplication, um, and you're gonna change the drivability of the unit. So again, uh, what we're focusing on today is building uh, the best heavy duty uh, 300 millimeter uh, uh, kit that you can uh, with this unit. All right, Sonax offers four different kits for this 300 millimeter uh, heavy duty build. And the reason we do that is because uh, the different vehicle platforms that GM puts these in that we talked about earlier all have different flex plate patterns and they might have different overall heights that the converters get built to. Uh, what we were showing earlier is the multi-plate kit that would service the gas-powered trucks and SUVs. Uh, here's the, uh, the diesel fleet vehicle variant. This is the, uh, the hot rod Cadillac version and uh, this bolt pattern represents the Corvette version. So we have all four of these to service the, the various 300 millimeter configurations that GM uses in this platform. And GM uh, helps out the converter industry a little bit by keeping track of it with uh, sticker codes that are on the outside of this converter. Um, the converter here shows JMBX, and you can see that this flex plate pattern matches the one that we were showing earlier. There's three pads, and that gets you this kit, uh, but again, we have four kits that will allow you to build a converter to your application. Okay, so how does it all stack up? Well, we're gonna use our sample converter uh, that we have here that we've already cut open. Uh, you're gonna cut open the converter. Uh, you're gonna take everything out and disassemble it, wash it, clean it. Uh, and once you have uh, the uh, single plate clutch disc aside here, um, and it's clean and it's dry, you're gonna take the rivets out of this damper spring pack, right? Because we need to reuse this damper spring pack. It's very important. You're gonna take that damper spring pack once it's off of this OE piston and you're gonna put it onto the forged piston that comes in your kit. And once you have the, the OE spring pack riveted in place, it's gonna build up just like a normal converter. You're gonna put your piston in place. You're gonna put your clutch plates in place. And again, we're not gonna be dealing with uh, just a single friction element. We now have three friction elements here. We have a forged piston. Take your forged cover, drops on and welds in place. Leak check, balance, you're ready to install. So um, I'm gonna get into a, a one minor complicating factor here. 
uh, which is some of these 300 millimeter variants are captive clutch, right? So that probably just uh, got the attention of all the converter builders who are uh, watching this video because captive clutches are really problematic for those guys to deal with, to, to disassemble and reassemble and get the correct stack ups and clutch clearances. So I'm going to grab some pieces off from the side here. And these two six pad variants from GM are what are captive clutches. And you can see that this is the same six pad variant here with these tall pads, the pretty large diameter bolt circle. And this one has a JMDZ tag on it. But what I can show you here is even though we've cut it open, it doesn't look anything like that, that uh, single disc. That's because the clutch plate is held captive inside. It's underneath this pressure plate, and it's held captive with these spring fingers, and it's riveted into place. But we still need to get to that spring damper pack because we're going to rivet it onto our clutch apply piston, right? So we take these rivets out. You can throw the cover away. You can throw this pressure plate away, but you're going to take that spring damper pack, and again, you're going to re-rivet it to your, your billet piston, and then you're going to take the cover that comes in the diesel variant kit, the JMDZ kit, drop it in place, weld it up, balance, leak check, and it's ready to install. It's that easy to do. You don't have to deal with any re-riveting of covers or, or anything like that. It makes it really quick uh, and durable and heavy duty uh, JMDZ diesel converter. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you're a vehicle owner and you wanna get more information, your best bet is probably gonna be to talk to your local transmission builder or to your local torque converter remanufacturer if you already deal directly with them. Um, and don't forget about the rest of the transmission. Uh, Sonax has great fixes and upgrades available to you uh, for the 6L and, and a variety of other platforms. So if you have any questions about these products or any other platforms that you're dealing with, uh, please check out Sonax.com. Thanks for watching.